Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made over $32,500,000 in under one day in GTA 5 Online. This is by far the most money I've ever made in one day on this game, and in this video, you will see me sell five special cargo warehouses, taking advantage of the double money bonus going on this week. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like on it, and now let's get into this insane video. Like I said, special cargo warehouses this week are paying two times money and two times RP when it comes to doing the cell missions, which is super overpowered, and I am definitely going to be taking advantage of that in this video. I'm actually going to be showing you the entire process that I did to get all of my five large warehouses completely full. That way, if you wanted to do it, you can do it as well. All right, so first things first, this is a personal tip that I recommend you do, but you can do it different if you want to, but I like to set my spawn location set to my CEO office. The reason for this is because doing this makes you spawn there instantly when you join a new session, which you'll see later on in the video why this is important. Anyway, to buy this, you do need to own a living quarters inside of your CEO office, but as you can see, this week in GTA, they are discounted 30% off, so I recommend buying one right now if you don't have one. All right, so let's get started with filling up all of these five large warehouses. What we first need to do is enter inside our CEO office, log into our desktop, and then go over here to where it says special cargo. Once you go over to where it says special cargo, first you wanna go over to where it says warehouse map, because you first want to make sure you own a few warehouses to get started with this. As you can see, at the time that I'm recording this video, every single CEO special cargo warehouse is on sale for 30% off. Now, of course, you don't have to own five large warehouses like I do. That's pretty insane, but you need to own at least two large warehouses. And having two large warehouses is definitely going to be the best way to make the most money and most profits from the CEO special cargo warehouses with this method that I'm going to be showing you. All right, so once you have at least two special cargo warehouses, you now should see them right here at the bottom. Now, as you can see, all of them are completely empty, so we definitely need to fill them up right now. So what you need to do is click whichever one is empty for you. And as you'll see, you have three different options. You can source one crate for $2,000, two crates for $8,000, or three crates for $18,000 which is the only one you want to do. All right, so whenever you're ready, select the three crate option and now click confirm. And you are now going to be in a special cargo resupply mission where you need to get crates for your special cargo warehouse. A really cool tip that I like to use all the time is I like to go up to my assistant, click right D-pad and then click personal vehicle. And here I can actually request my oppressor mark two or if you have any other vehicle that you would like to use to go over to do this mission with, you can simply select that vehicle from your assistant. And that way, when you load out of your CEO office, you instantly have it ready. When doing these resupply missions, you definitely want to have a vehicle like an Oppressor Mark II and Oppressor Mark I, a Sparrow, or some sort of really fast vehicle like that. Now, most of the time when you're doing these resupply missions, you're mostly going to get missions like I did right here, a mission where you need to go over to a location on the map, get one vehicle, which is holding all three of the crates, and then get that vehicle and deliver it over to your warehouse. And these are definitely the best resupply missions to get because when you're doing these resupply missions, you don't have to worry about getting three individual crates. You have all of the three crates in this one vehicle, which is really handy. And personally, I'd say you'd get these resupply missions like 70% of the time. The other 30%, which is a really low percent, you are going to get those missions where you need to deliver three individual crates to your warehouse, which can sometimes be annoying. But even when you get those, they aren't that hard to do. You literally need to get those three crates and deliver it over to your warehouse, which isn't too hard to do. But that is why I said it is really important to make sure you have a good vehicle like an Oppressor Mark II, a Sparrow, or a Buzzard because when you do need to make those multiple trip deliveries with the three different crates, it does help to have those vehicles. Okay, now let me tell you why I told you to set your spawn location to your CEO office. The reason for this is because take a look at where I'm at right now, clearly not close to my CEO office. Now to get there faster, what I like to do is simply open up my pause menu, then go over to where it says online, then find new session, and then I find a new invite only session. Now if you're on next gen like I am this literally takes less than 15 seconds and just like that boom you are inside of your CEO office ready to start up the next resupply mission. Now when you do sign into your desktop you'll notice there's going to be a wait time for the warehouse that you just source crates for so now what you want to do is go over to any one of your other warehouses select it and you'll now notice there is no wait time for this other one so now select the three crate option just like we did before and source three crates for this other warehouse. Now these two warehouses are the only warehouses that you want to alternate doing the resupply mission so after you finish doing one, do the other one and just keep doing that back and forth until you fill it up. 
Also, make sure you don't forget that trick that I told you. Every single time you finish doing one of your resupply missions, you want to make sure your spawn location is set to your CEO office. That way, after you finish delivering your supplies, immediately open up your pause menu, go over to find new session and find a new invite only session. And just like that, 10 to 15 seconds later, you will be back inside your CEO office, ready to start up the next resupply mission. Now, the only other way you can get crates for your special cargo warehouses is by paying a staff member to go get them for you. And all you have to do to do this is enter inside your special cargo warehouse and walk up to your staff member. Now click right d-pad on them and as you can see if you pay them $7,500 it will send your staff to go get you a crate for you. Now I say a crate but he can actually bring you anywhere from one to three crates it is completely random. Another thing to definitely keep in mind is you can pay five different staff members to go get you crates which is five different people going to get you crates for your warehouses but in order to do this you need to own five different warehouses. And just like that, after you pay them $7,500, all of your staff members will come back to you 48 minutes later with anywhere from one to three crates and it is completely random. But as you can see, if you paid five different staff members, this can add up to a lot of different crates. Okay, now let's get to the fun part, me selling all of my five large warehouses once they got all the way full. And as you can see right here by me signing in and clicking on my special cargo section, you can see all of my five large warehouses are now completely full to the very top, 100% full. And this should get me a lot of money once I sell all five of these. All right, now I'm just going to be showing you the footage of me starting up all of these sell missions for each one of my warehouses. You can see here is my wholesale furniture warehouse selling for 4.25 million, my zero gas factory selling for 4.29 million dollars here's my other large warehouse my west vinewood back out selling for 4.4 million dollars and here's my other one called the walker and sons warehouse selling for 4.4 million dollars as well and here's my very last warehouse which is my beleco warehouse selling for 4.4 million dollars once again Hopefully that made it way easier for you guys to understand and it also saved both of us lots of time. The video doesn't have to be super long. I just showed you that I started all of those five cell missions. Now I'm going to be showing you the five cell missions that I did in clips of course because this video would be super long if I included all five of those cell missions. Anyway for the cell missions I either got three cell vehicles that I had to deliver or I got one big cell vehicle that I had to deliver. That's why I think it's very important to make sure whenever you're doing these cell missions you need to make sure you have at least two friends with you. That way in case you do get the three vehicle cell mission you do have two friends that can help you out deliver them but if you are lucky like me sometimes you are going to get one big cell vehicle like a titan or a phantom wedge where you just have one big vehicle holding all of the crates and you can just deliver them with that one vehicle meaning you don't need anybody to help you sell for all of these five cell missions that I did, I did sell it in a public session with over 20 people in the lobby, which if you didn't know, if you sell in a public session with over 20 people in it, you actually get a 2.5% money bonus that caps out at 20 people for selling in a public session. And this can be a lot of money because keep in mind, a large warehouse is $4.4 million and you get a 2.5% money bonus for every single player in the session up to 20 people. So that is a total of $2.2 million on top of the original amount you were already going to get just for selling it in a public session with over 20 people in it. So that is why when you see all of my sell missions, I'm going to be making anywhere from 6.3 to 6.6 .6 million dollars. And as you can see, for my first sell mission, I made 6.6 .6 million dollars just from this one. From my second warehouse, I made 6.43 million dollars. For my third warehouse, I made 6.37 million dollars. For my fourth warehouse, I made 6.6 .6 million dollars once again. And for my fifth and final warehouse, I made 6.4 million dollars once again. Hopefully you enjoyed that better than me showing you five different cell missions. That would have been super annoying, I think, and would have made this video super, super long. Instead, I thought I'd just show you me starting up the cell mission and then me showing you how much money I made from each cell mission after I sold it. And if you were to add all of those five large warehouses that I did sell, it does add up to over $32.5 million that I did make in under one day after completing all of these five cell missions. Anyways, that is now going to be the end of today's video. Definitely the craziest video I think I have on my entire YouTube channel to date. I think the last time I made a video on this, I made $29 million, but of course I topped that in today's video with $32.5 million in profits from the CEO Special Cargo Warehouses. The only other time I can see me passing this goal is if they make it triple money or something like that, but until then, I hope you guys all did go on to enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure you do me a favor and drop a like on it if you haven't already, and of course make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, that way you don't miss out on any future GTA videos just like this one. But that's it for me, and I will see you all in my very next video. Peace.